You guys know I love dirt bikes and I actually love them so much that I bought Liz a dirt bike years ago. But I was back in my parents' house and shortly we moved out to LA so we never really got to use it. Until today, Liz got herself her very own dirt bike so now we can finally live the dream and go dirt bike riding together. You're driving your new dirt bike? Yes, sir. All right, and she's off. She literally crashed uh, yesterday. All right, Liz is apparently following me. And we have a super fun project today. I've actually been waiting literally all week for this. Actually a little bit longer, but uh, today is the day guys. We got a build ahead of us. Come on, Liz, let's go. We're bouncing around. We gotta go across the bridge. Here we go. Woo! So we're driving on over to the warehouses, the garages, the studios. I don't really know what to call them yet, but it's the other side of the property. And you don't want to walk because it'll take probably like 15 minutes. So I'm riding the green Hummer, and we'll be there in a couple of minutes. We made it. This is the project for today. We got the little mini jet boat. It literally says it's delivered for Lizzie Capri. That's you. <gasps> World's biggest daddy long leg. Look at the size of that daddy long leg. It's the size of my hand. Unboxing, yes. We got another jet stream, baby. We're gonna need help with this. We are back at this garage, and we gotta lift it up. Oh, there he is. Wow, wow. I was wondering where Matt was. We got the toolbox. Wow. It's, you know, it's got room to grow. <laughs> No, we've There's got, barely you know, anything in there. We got there. Let's get one pair of scissors. We've got uh, we got flatheads wow. and Phillips heads. All right, okay. If we just make sure we water and fertilize this puppy. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna grow. grow into it's a gonna full grow, size. Grow and grow. Just like vines here's just growing our, around this. Here's our electric drawer. This is where all the electrical tools go. Do we have an electrical tool? Yes, we do. Right there. And then here we got our hammer collection and our zip ties and phone. We don't really have the right tool, but I think these might just do it. There she goes. She loves that little dirt bike. <laughs> All right, let's see if you can figure it out. Are those metal? Yeah. Just watch out when they snap. They might yeah. like real snap. They're banjo tight. I don't think it's gonna You work. can cut it a little bit at a time. So like snip it like a little, yeah. Oh! <laughs> One down, two to go. Maybe twist a little bit of the whole thing. Yeah, it's kind of ripped. Yeah. Sheesh. Woo! Is that satisfying? All right, so now we should be able to slide her out. Oh, it literally doesn't weigh a thing. It's so light. Oh, it is. <gasps> windows! It's got windows. Oh my What's gosh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. So cute! This is the other side of the jet boat, the mini jet boat. These are the actual motors. I got two of them. I can't wait to see what they look like and if they're gonna bolt right on or if we're gonna need modifications. One of the challenges that we're facing is that we don't have a bunch of tools here in the new garage. We literally have like scissors, a couple like screwdrivers, and that's about it. We don't have any drills, any saws, any welders, like nothing crazy. So we're kind of limited to what we're gonna be able to do. So I'm hoping things can kind of bolt up or we can kind of jerry-rig something, like just make it work to test it out because I've been dying to see what these motors look like. And it looks like Liz is about to open one. Oh, this is so exciting. It's like a <gasps> wee blower. <laughs> it does. It is, I mean, it's literally a wee whacker motor. Oh, and there's the prop. No way. <gasps> Yo, this is gonna be so sick. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> if this bolts on because it's like modular, this thing is gonna absolutely rip because we're gonna actually have two of these. <laughs> I think each of them are like six horsepower or something. So we're trying to figure out how to mount this motor onto this boat. This normally like a kayak would be like this. So you would just bolt it right onto the back of some kind of boat that's intended for this. But this thing is fully custom built. So there's really no way to strap it on. So I'm thinking if we put wood in here and then strap the wood onto here, we might want to like rig something up that might work. I don't know. Cause we just don't have anything here. We have no tools on the side of the boat. and just hold it. <laughs> Dual motor, we put one there, one on the other side. What do you think? That's great. This thing's gonna fly. It might. Look how big that motor is. <laughs> it's pretty big. Yeah, it's a for, hefty weed whacker. This thing, I can already picture it just like sitting out here. <laughs> yeah, you have to like lean out and be like coordinating the yeah, steering yeah, and coordinate. stuff and coordinate the throttle. Yeah. There's also one more notch that it can kind of hinge just a little bit more, but I don't know if this will stay. Yeah, it's not, that doesn't look great. It's just rising up. Oh my gosh, Liz wants to put, put this on the windshield. It might work though. I mean, it's starting to look pretty sick. I mean, come on, that, an outboard on the back of a little boat. We found the solution, guys. The oldest two by four in the corner of the garage. How do we more two by fours? 
how many spy dead spiders are on there? Carter, yeah. there's gotta be more, more two by fours in this building. Okay, look. Rip a piece off the wall. Oh boy, here goes Matt trying to break the shelf. Oh. Any of that can just come off. Why is there a chimney right there? Any two by fours? Oh, you got tag on people. This is gonna be a bad idea, but I'm gonna get sprayed, but here he goes. Yeah! <laughs> in order to potentially make this work for today, in today's video, we need uh, a two by four. Hopefully something actually a little bit thicker than a two by four. That'd be perfect. And I'm off, guys. I literally need just one piece of wood. We have no ability to cut anything, so it just has to be the right length. But we have some room to play with. I was thinking there might be some wood back here. I'm actually, I think I might be seeing something. There's a little scrap there. That's too thin. There's some wood there. Okay, never mind. Ooh, okay. Nice big piece of wood, but it's too long and it's still only a two by four, so it's actually not even thick enough. Here's what I found on my next stop. It's a bunch of firewood, but I'm also noticing, like, this, like, is a real piece of wood. So honestly, that could work. This could potentially work. I mean, it's a little heavy but like a piece of firewood might honestly make this whole boat work, which is kind of funny. I got my three pieces of wood I think are gonna work best. Time to go back to the garage and see if Liz found anything. And if not, then let's just see if one of my pieces of woods is gonna work. Liz just got back. Let's see, what do you get? I think it might be perfect, like this little one. Yeah, well I got some wood too. Where? It's literally firewood, but it's pretty like straight. Like the back is literally like flat. Like it's a piece of wood. Okay, well that's not bad. Let's try it then. It's too fat. Okay, just we just need one. Maybe just one little bit. We just don't have enough tools and supplies to get it on. So I put it on the back of the Hummer, which I think is awesome. It almost looks like this thing could be amphibious with that. You hop in the back and start driving it. It's really just there for show, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the jet boat throw it in the water and make sure it floats and you can use it with a paddle because uh, if this thing sinks, then we don't obviously want our gas engine on the back to all sink. So we're gonna do a float test first. So we're taking the jet boat to the lake for a float test. Liz is gonna go in it and we're gonna see how well it works. And she is behind me on a new dirt bike. Woo! And there's the lake. All right, are you ready for this? You got your paddle? Yeah, I think Oh yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna set, we're gonna launch you. It's gonna be great. We don't even know if this thing's seaworthy quite yet. Yeah. Is it gonna just sink? It might just tip yeah. over. All right, you ready? Yes, sir. Here we go. Whoa. All right. Whoa. So you're about to meet us for a fishing rod once you get out there. That thing okay. needs a motor. Guys, this thing needs that little outboard. It looks like it's running to me. <laughs> No, we tried for like an hour trying to get the outboard on. We just don't have any tools, any salt. We have nothing to work with. We got close to making it work, but we're just going for the float test today. This is only part one of more to come, guys. We're going to be doing a lot with this boat. Before you know it, it's probably going to hit an easy 45 miles an hour. All right, guys. Well, there she is. She's out floating. It's like so small. It's ridiculous. I mean, it looks pretty stable. It's going to need, for sure going to need a motor and uh, a paint job, it's some interior and a seat. It's gonna need a lot of work. You yeah, you do. A rudder would help, but it looks pretty stable. Is it stable? Yeah. What? In my video, that's where I felt the fish. I saw it. A shark over there? It was huge. Andrew, you did not see a shark in we there. We saw two of them. Like there was, they were making a wake on top of the water, circling around. No. Yeah, for real. Andrew, I swear. Wait, you have, you have video proof? I told you. Video proof? Carter. I wasn't seeing 
they came from over there, two of them, and they came this way, and then they were circling around Bailey's lure, and he felt a bite. Right? No, you did it. I yelled at Andrew to yeah. film him. Was... Did you get it on camera? I just missed them. They were going that way right as I turned on my yeah, camera. Are you right? trying to say we have another pond monster situation here? It's too early for that. We've been having too much fun. <laughs> Guys, we can't have another pond monster. It's been years since we've had to deal with that. There might be one in here. Well, I don't know. I've never heard two things circling around. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we'll see if your fish there. finder. You think the sharks are that way? Oh, yeah. That's oh, she's your pieces. Bailey almost got them. They were biting. They, he felt it bite his hook. You think they were fish? He just put one on. We got a... I got it without got a bobber, the worm. sinker, and worm. I got it with no bobber earlier. Yeah. Mm. What? The horse fly. Good luck. You gotta kill that thing. It's the same one that comes back every day. There's only one horse fly out here. And just the entire state. Well, at least on this property. This mini jet boat is so sick. We couldn't get the motors on it today, but we will in the future. And until then, we'll see you guys on the next vlog. Peace. Something like jumped out of the water there, <laughs> like legit. Oh, right there. Yeah, you can see it. Like something legitimately like came like, like this high out of the water. Just like a fish, though. I have no idea. Like literally, from way over in that corner, they made a wake this way. The two of them were circling around, and they both went that way.